Hi everybody. Sorry that I look a little bit disheveled. I'm just about to go to bed. But I wanted to talk about um, one more nootropic that I wanted to um, recommend for you guys. And it's called Pramiracetam. This is the bottle. And this is in the Racetam family of nootropics. I made a video on nootropics before. And basically it acts as a, um, it helps you focus. So let's say you're at work. This will help you zero in on whatever task you're doing and tune out any sort of peripheral noise coming from other people, other co-workers, whatever the case may be. I've been taking this for two weeks and my productivity at work went up like twofold. And I'm not just saying that because I have a job that's very, very repetitive involves paperwork but it's very repetitive paperwork and very templated and the volume of of work that I do has gone up literally twofold only because I added this to my regular um, regimen of nootropics so it's very effective um, it helps you focus at will which, if you have PTSD, is a real problem for you most of the time. You've pretty much given up on the idea that you can focus at will. But it really does help you focus at will. And I've noticed that if I want to do some sort of task like um, drawing, which involves you sitting still for two hours and sketching, uh, whereas before I would be very fidgety and I would get up and I would think about what I'm going to eat and think about what I want to drink <laughs> or distract myself with a YouTube video. When I'm taking Pramiracetam, I can literally sit in one place and sort of have this kind of flow experience where I, where time stops and I'm just doing what it is I have to do and I'm ignoring everything else so it's really cool stuff and it's really very promising because especially for people that have dissociative sy symptoms or they, they tend to tune out um, or their mind seems to wander off this will really help you I'm really, I'm really recommending this for you guys. That's number one. And number two is I'm going to sort of change uh, the content of this channel. I was thinking of creating a separate channel, but I, I kind of want to stay here. And I'm going to make this an open forum. So if anybody has questions that are specifically about narcissism, sociopathy, psychopathy, whatever the case may be, uh, feel free to ask me and I will make a video um, dedicated to your question. However, the primary content of this video, of this channel, is going to be how to lead a lifestyle after trauma that will make you more fulfilled and will make you feel better within your own body and within your own mind and I have lots of really interesting resources that I'm looking forward to reviewing uh, one of them is a book on uh, foods that help with mood disorders like anxiety, um, 
I'll continue to review nootropics and talk about neuroscience. I'm really interested in uh, the neurobiology of PTSD. And I think that before we can change ourselves as people, we have to address the neurobiology of this. Because a lot of it goes back to how your brain is structured. Nootropics are very promising because um, they make your brain more plastic. And if your brain is stuck, as it is with most people that have trauma, uh, wherever it's come from, whether it's war trauma or any other kind of trauma, your brain is stuck in a very specific uh, modality. And if you can take um, substances and tweak your diet in a way that makes your brain more plastic and makes it more receptive to new information, learning becomes easier, you're better able to consolidate the experiences that you've had. And then the trauma will become less intrusive in your daily life, which is, should really be the goal of all of this. It's not about what created the issue. It's not about what broke your leg. It's about how we can repair your leg, or in this case, repair the brain, make it more optimal so that you can function better um, in your everyday life and you feel more empowered. So I'm going to talk about a lot about diet, a lot about exercise, a lot about the neurobiology of trauma and PTSD and how we can uh, heal that. And... All of this stems from my frustration um, with the fact that there's no race for a cure when it comes to this um, disorder, whatever you want to call it, this mood disorder. There's just a presumption that once you have it, it's there. And that's not good enough for me. I feel like if we had something more imminent like cancer or cystic fibrosis or ALS, we would be very, very uh, gung-ho about overcoming this issue. But because it's not something terminal, we don't take it seriously enough. We don't take the recovery aspect of it seriously enough. And I find that really problematic. Because a lot of people milk the fact that people that have come out of these situations are really desperate to get better and that bothers me it bothers me that we should be worrying about how to make our lives better not about how to analyze what happened or why we feel this way and there's not enough of a, a movement um, to really make our lives better you know what good is any of this if we can't if we're not in charge of a ship you know and that's why I want to dedicate the rest of this uh, channel to lifestyle changes that you can do uh, that will really help you out. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Kisses.